the market. What's goody, everybody? Welcome to Aftermarket. My name is Swole. Thank you guys for watching and just staying up to date with us. I know we've been going for a little while, but please continue to like, subscribe, and comment on all our content and just continue to stay tuned. Like I said, we've been gone for a while, so welcome back to you all and the hiatus is over. Today's episode is all about Jordan's, his airness. We're going to start off with the Union 4s. Oh, don't fall on me. <clears throat> the Union 4s. Uh, my buddy Mike doesn't really like these, but uh, I like these shoes. They were highly coveted, very, very hard to get. And you can see why that is so. The tongue is a lot different than the uh, than the classic uh, Jordan Force tongue. It looks like it's kind of tucked in a little bit. I'm not sure if you can untuck it, but it just, I mean, to me, it looks cool. I like the upper. I like the the mashup of the of the uh, of the different colors. Um, it's a it's a brighter color block to it, um, but I think it's a fun shoe. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, let me give you guys a little, little spin of it, a little tour of the sneakers. Like I said, these were very hard to get. They were highly coveted. Um, so if you got them, cherish these. Resale on these is pretty high. You can check StockX to verify. I think they're probably selling for maybe anywhere from five to 600 over retail. That might be on the low side, but they're definitely selling for a, a whole lot of money. Um, as far as keeping these in my closet, I definitely would. Personally, these are this is a fun shoe to me. I like this shoe. I like like I said, I like the colorway. It's loud to some people, to, to the more conservative shoe wearers. But you know, like I said in previous episodes, it takes a special type of person to wear certain sneakers, and. Uh, yeah, this is a nice shoe. I like it. I'm going to move on to the Biohack 1s. Um, again, this is a fun shoe, but I think this was geared more towards female and kids. But, hey, I would wear these. Um, the inside is very loud. It's a pink inside. The tongue is a yellow. And there's a mashup of like a, a, a stitched, a, or what is that, a turquoise stitched um, top up there. Um, overall, the quality on these are very, uh, this is a very nice, nice shoe. It's very well constructed. You could, there's a alternative lace here for you to swap out if you don't like the black laces. Um, I really like this shoe. This is another fun shoe that I would definitely keep. Resell on these on StockX isn't as high as the Union ones. Um, they aren't. I wouldn't say they're they they're uh, as highly coveted as the Union fours. Sorry, I said the Union ones. I meant the Union fours. Um, but again, this is another fun shoe. I would keep these. I would put these in my closet. Moving on, moving on. Which one should I do? All right, let's go with the classics. Let's go with the Oregon Fives. These are beautiful. My goodness. I think I've developed an affinity for Fives in recent times. Um, but this is a nice shoe. The only thing I will point out that I don't like about, the, about these is that they swapped out the Oregon Duck for, I don't even know what this is, but whatever that is. Um, <laughs> But I really like this shoe. I love, I love, 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 love the play on colors. The yellow, uh, the the uh, the Oregon green with the yellow on the black midsole. I think that it, it just doesn't get any better than this for four pair fives. Um, for me personally, the insides of them look like they're a little bit of a they look carbon fiber to me, honestly. But I like the insides. Um, this is a really, really nicely constructed shoe. I would keep these, I would put them in my closet. Um, one thing we have noticed though, is that the quality on these kind of vary. If you get yours from like, you know, Nike sneakers app, the quality tends to be a little bit better than getting them from Champs or Foot Locker or, or something like that. Just, just a little something that we noticed. Um, it's an icy, it's a classic icy sole at the bottom. 
Uh, but yeah, I really like these. I, these are going in my closet. <laughs> these are going in my closet. I love these. Very, very nice shoe. Let's move on to the Fragment 3s. The Fragment 3s. I think the last time these released were sometime in the early 2000s, I want to say. Uh, so it's it's been a while um, since they've had a Fragment release. But these, I, I like these. I like the, the, the craftsmanship on these, the, the tumbled leather. Um, I got, we got some haters on these too. I'll, I'll name drop my, my friend. Aftermarket Mike thinks these are, uh, they look like cow hides. I, I can't really remember what he said per se, but I like these shoes. They're, they're very nicely constructed. The back has like a, a sort of embossed um, Jordan logo sitting on over top of the, uh, the fragment logo I don't know if you can see it but there it is um i love it it has fragment on the insides of it i don't know who's calling me but i'm doing a show right now it has the, the fragment underlay on the uh on the inside of the tongue this is a really nice shoe if you got these kudos to you these were very very hard to get resale was very high but uh, I think the, uh, uh, there's a lot of haters on these out there. They might uh, resonate with with the aftermarket mic uh, because I'm get we we saw that as soon as you know people started getting them in hand, the resale value kind of dropped. Uh, but still a very profitable shoe to sell on StockX if you're into that. Um, I really like these. The craftsmanship on these is is top notch. Very exquisite. Very nice shoe. Um, you can see the fragment logo right there and then they you know they did a little something on the hill on the back hill um but very nice shoe i like these so that was a lightning round that was a lot to take in but you know we just had to do a, a quick catch up let you guys know we still here we still moving after market is, is still around so don't forget to like subscribe and comment Get into the comment section. We want to know what you guys like, what you guys didn't like about these sneakers. Uh, and just, you know, just let us know what you think. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for more giveaways. This is Aftermarket Swole signing out. We'll catch you guys on the Aftermarket. See you.